We're going to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This one about the whole Deshaun Watson situation. Hey there, uh, this is Aaron Harper uh, coming all the way from uh, Los Angeles, California, lifelong Cleveland Browns fan. Just really quickly, I'm not sure uh, if you guys have noticed, um, but we have not heard from one particular voice in the media for quite some time now because it seems to me like he's ate his own words and is, doesn't really know what to say now. And that is none other than Rich Eisen. Uh, as I'm sure you all know, he was in incredibly critical of, you know, the Deshaun, Deshaun uh, Watson case, uh, coming out of, you know, automatically accusing him of all of these allegations and everything, and essentially just cutting to conclusions about it before he even knew the facts. And, you know, it, it happens, but it's just kind of frustrating because of someone of his magnitude to, you know, just to cut to conclusions like that. It's just, uh, it's, it's just frustrating. So now to see him, he's been completely silent for the past couple of weeks now after all these things have started coming out. It's just like, all right, well, there's that. So I'm just curious what you guys think of that. Or if you guys have noticed that about Rich Island. Thank you. Go Browns. All right, as always, we appreciate all of uh, the voicemails. Um, let's welcome in Ashley Bastock from Plain Dealer as well as Cleveland.com. Ashley, I don't think at this point anything that's really come out will change any, um, anybody who had a hardline stance one way or other. Um, because the, the facts of it haven't been presented uh, by the disciplinary officer, Sue L. Robinson. So um, I, I get kind of where you're going as far as it, it started with 12 at the league, it went to five, it's down to four. But again, nothing really has come out about what was said and what evidence was presented in those hearings. Yeah, and I think it's important too to remember, like it's kind of clear with what we've heard so far from this hearings that these are this is coming from one side basically right like the nfl side uh doesn't really appear to be leaking things the same way that say like deshaun watson's side might be and, and there are reasons for that but i do think it's important like you can kind of tell the difference there there is only i think one side that we're getting right now we're not going to get the full picture until sue l robinson ultimately makes her decision and again i've talked about it before i think it's really hard to predict when she's going to do that how exactly she's going to rule and that's kind of by design because she is an independent party who is looking at all of the evidence just like she did when she was a federal judge um, and that's kind of why this disciplinary system is set up the way it is but i agree i think people who have their minds made up one way or the other at this point it's going to be really difficult to change them uh these accusations are very complicated these, these cases are very complicated the disciplinary case the civil cases um but i do think ultimately we haven't heard so much being talked about yet because there hasn't been a decision made yet, right? I think if conversation, especially on a national scale, has died down, maybe not locally and here in Cleveland, but on a national scale, it's going to pick back up again as soon as that decision is announced. And of course, if Sue L. Robinson issues any kind of punishment, there's the possibility for an appeals process that will also have to go through. Um, so I think news is definitely going to pick up here as we get closer to training camp and, and the start of training camp when it comes to Deshaun Watson and what his status is going to be at the beginning of this year. The other thing to remember about Rich Eisen, and, and I think he's very talented, I like him a lot, um, he's employed by the NFL Network. That's owned by the NFL, by the owners. So just it, it, that's that's nothing other than a statement of fact. Um, just remember um, where he's coming from. 